That's right, another video about combat. Greetings Vault Dwellers and welcome to the Wasteland. This is your Overseer speaking, 3 Eye Townie, and today we're going to be talking about hit locations, increasing damage, and ranged attacks in combat for Fallout the Tabletop RPG by Modiphius. This video is part 3 of combat in the Learn to Play series. In previous videos I went over the basics of combat, so if you haven't checked those out yet, you might want to take a look. First, let's talk about hit locations. Now, I mentioned hit locations in my previous video on making an attack, but let's talk about what those actually are. There are six different body parts that you can target as a hit location. There's the head, torso, left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg. You can choose to target one of these locations before making an attack, or it can be randomly determined when you make the attack. Now you will encounter creatures that don't have the standard hit locations, like they might have wings or claws or a tail, and for these exceptions, you can just check the creature's stat block. So you roll a d20 to see where you hit, and then you reference a table in the core rulebook that lists what the body parts equate to. Now, Modiphius has developed their own special hit die that you can purchase, but either does the job. While we're on the subject of special dice, I did want to quickly talk about combat dice, because you're going to be using these quite a bit. When you successfully hit with an attack, you roll a certain number of d6s based on your weapon's damage rating. The d6s are referred to as combat dice, and they have four different results. One damage, two damage, nothing, or one damage plus a damage effect. Modiphius has made special combat dice that have each of the results printed on them, but you could also use a standard d6 and just reference the table in the book. Now let's talk about increasing damage. You can roll additional combat dice on an attack by spending action points or spending ammunition depending on the type of weapon you're using. For melee weapons, unarmed attacks, and thrown weapons, you can roll up to three additional combat dice by spending action points. Now each additional die costs one action point each, and you can only use action points that are already banked. You cannot purchase action points from the Game Master to perform this action. For ranged attacks, every unit of ammo you spend gives you one combat die. Now every ranged weapon has a fire rate, and that determines how many combat die you can actually roll on the attack. Lastly, let's talk a little bit about range. For ranged weapons and thrown weapons, you can attack any target that you can see, but the difficulty will vary based on how far away they are. Each weapon has a range listed in their stats. Any distance that is closer or farther away than that stated range has an increased difficulty. The ranges are close, medium, long, and extreme. For each additional range variation between you and your target, the difficulty is increased by one. Additionally, if you perform a ranged attack within close reach of your target, the difficulty is increased by two. This is because being within arm's reach of your target is considered disruptive to a ranged attack. Before we close out, I just wanted to go over one bonus tip, sneak attacks. If your target is unaware of you prior to attacking, the difficulty is decreased by 1, to a minimum of 0. Additionally, your attack gains the vicious damage effect if it didn't have it already, and if it did, you get to add 2 additional combat die to your attack roll. If the difficulty to hit your target is reduced to 0, you don't actually have to roll in the test. but. It is a good opportunity to generate some action points, just remember that you could also generate a complication. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you found this breakdown helpful. We're almost through combat, and then we can move on to some new topics. My next video we're going to cover damage types and damage effects. If you don't want to miss when the next video is coming out, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. You can find me and the rest of the Fallout 2D20 unofficial fan community everywhere on the internet. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit. We have a very active Discord community as well. And I'll leave links for all that in the description. If you haven't already pre-ordered Fallout the Tabletop RPG by Modiphius, you can do so directly from Modiphius on their online shop. And I'll leave a link for that in the description too. Thanks again for watching, and thank you so much to everyone who's liked the videos and commented. It's been so great interacting with everyone through this series. It's awesome hearing from everyone that these videos are helping people understand the game, and it's been really cool sharing in the excitement before the game is even out. So really, thanks for watching, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, 
I'll see you in the wasteland.